So there you see four of the big five. The rhino, the leopard, the buffalo, and the elephant. Which one is missing? Anyone know? If you guessed the lion, you are right. Let's try that again. Now we've got the rhino, the lion, the elephant, and the buffalo. Which one is missing? There's only four there, but we need five. The leopard. Well done. Okay, and now we've got the elephant, the lion, the leopard, and the buffalo. What's missing? Do you know? It's the rhino. What is missing? Do you know? I see an elephant. A rhino, a leopard, and a lion. There are only four animals there, but I need five to complete my big five. It's a big animal, and he's got horns. Well done. The buffalo. And for our last round, who's missing? I see a buffalo, a leopard, a lion, and a rhino. Who's this Big grey animal that's missing. The elephant. Well done, boys and girls. Such clever boys and girls to find the missing animal because it's not called the big four, it's called the big five. Very clever, well done. Boys and girls, before we go and look at our pack, I just want to go over the sound we did yesterday. Do you remember what sound that makes? J, yes, its name is J, but it makes a J, J. J sound. And we looked at a whole lot of J things. I wonder if you found some things that start with J. If you haven't found any yet, you can go look around your house today and see if you can find some things that start with J. Let's sing our J song. Remember? The jelly. Wobbling, wobbling. Okay, let's go. Ready and. Jelly and jam, jelly and jam, jiggling on my plate. Oh, what shall I eat with it? J, 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 J. Jeans! What did you say? Should we try another one? I've got another J thing in my mind that I'm going to eat today. Mmm, crunchy. It's a crunchy one and it's a noisy one. Maybe it will even play some music for Kenya's birthday. Listen to what it is. Let's go. Jelly and jam, jelly and jam, jiggling on my plate. Oh, what shall I eat with it? J, 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 jingle bells. <laughs> Okay, so now like I said, boys and girls, let's go through these packs. So you've got this pack yesterday. And I think quite a few of you have already started. And you were supposed to have started. If you haven't started, you can always catch up. And you took out the j j j the hat. The Joker's hat. Couldn't think of his name, Mr. Joker's hat. So you made your Joker's hat. And I saw some lovely Joker's hat. So thank you for sharing those pictures, moms. And some of you started this. And like I said, if you don't, that's just for whenever you want to do it. That's fine. And now for today, you will find, if you haven't found it already yet, you will find some OTs. And what you're going to do with these OTs, there's definitely more than four OTs. You're allowed to eat one to start with. Just one. Otherwise, you're not going to have enough. Hmm. They're quite yummy. And then, these actually weren't oats. These were fruit loops. They're all different colors. Then what you're going to do is you're going to string it. Like you can see, there's already one that's on the string. So all you're going to do is you're going to string the rest of them to make a long, long, long chain. Now, I'm not going to do it. It's going to take too long for me to do it. And I can see Bo's trying to eat my, my cereal over here. So you're going to fill it up. And when you've finished, I want to see hmm, if you can try and turn it into a number four. So what you're going to have to do is, oh, it's going to be tricky for me to show you now. But what you're going to do is you're going to make it a shape like that, like a four. And then for this part over here, you can get a little stick. Or maybe you can find a little toothpick. There's actually some toothpicks in your bag. You can use one of those. Or go, go into the garden. Go find a leaf or a stick and see if you can turn it into a number four. And then, when you're done, you can even turn it into a necklace and eat it like that. Or 
You can just play with it a little bit. So that's what you're going to do with that. Then you'll also find there's this, a pile of newspapers to read. And you look very clever when you're reading the newspaper. So put your glasses on and you sit and you read the newspaper. And when you're done reading the newspaper, you will see there's big ones that are news from the newspaper. Then there's some smaller ones that are from a magazine. And then there's some tissues. Now I have given the instructions on this page for your moms to read and it says you're going to be scrunching these up you're going to be making some balls and it's very good to scrunch these up because good exercises with these for these fingers so the first thing you're going to do you're going to do one at a time with the newspaper you're going to take the newspaper in your hand like this and you're not allowed to cheat you're not allowed to let your left hand help your right hand you're only going to do one hand at a time so this hand is going to scrunch the ball and if you can hear me over this loud noise now I don't want a ball that's looking like that. I want it as tight as it can be. Oh, as small as you can make it. Because the smaller you can make it, the tighter it is, and then the better it can throw. Because we're going to throw them just now. So you're going to make your ball with one hand, and then you take your other hand and you make the ball again. There we go. Use your left hand for two balls. And your right hand for two balls. And oh, my left hand, it's a little bit tricky for my left hand because my left hand doesn't do enough writing. It doesn't get a lot of exercise. So this is very good exercise for your hands. So you're going to make two with your right hand and two with your left hand. That's with a big newspaper. Then you're going to take the magazine and you're going to put one in each hand. And you're going to do it at the same time now. And you do that almost like a race and see which hand can make the tighter ball first, the tightest ball, but it's got to be really tight. Okay, so you're going to do that with a magazine and you've got some more magazines, so you can do that again. And then you're going to take your tissue and there's two tissues over there and four balls in each hand of the tissue. So what you can do is you can actually either, this is a good idea because the tissue can be Broken in half like that. So that's one tissue and I've taken in. And you're going to make small, and now you're only using your little fingers to make small, small, small balls. And remember, I live in video land and I do things really quickly. But where you are at home, you're going to do it nice and slowly and properly. And look at that really good ball. And then when you finish making all the balls, so you're going to do again two with this hand and two with this hand. And when you finish making all your balls, you can get a nice target. So you can get a big tub, or you can draw with chalk maybe, on the floor, on the wall. You've got to ask though before you do that. But I think a nice big bucket or a tub is quite fun. And what you're going to do is you've got to try and aim. So you're going to throw the ball, and you're going to try and aim it into that bucket, or into that tub. Ah, got you. Hmm. And you can even ask somebody to stand. You can see if you can hit them, because it won't be hard. Oh, I missed. Let's see if I can get you again. Yes, one more, one more, one more, teacher Layla. Ah, oh, I got you over there. And when you've done it with your right hand, you can go pick them up and then you throw them again with your left hand. So it's good practicing with both hands. All right, boys and girls, will you go and have fun doing that? Do your OTs, do that, and I will see you again tomorrow for another lovely day. So long, farewell, I'll be doing Good night. Well, it's not night time for you, but it's good night for me. Mwah.